What's up guys, I'm at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. Once again, I found a vehicle that grabbed my attention and check it out. It's a Toyota Sienna, which I used to own one of these. Brian, introduce yourself to the world, man. What do we got here? Hi, I'm Brian with Journeys Off-Road. This is a 2004 Toyota Sienna. It uh, has about 240,000 miles on it and a three and a half inch lift. <laughs> uh, this one's all wheel drive. They do work for the front wheel drives as well. Um, and you know, for an affordable price, you can't beat it. You get a lot more clearance, you get a better approach angle. And uh, you know, 750 shipped and you know, in your mailbox, you can have it. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Like, I mean, a lot of people think you have to buy a hundred thousand dollar rig to go overlanding. No. Just take your your existing van, your minivan. I used to have one of these. Yeah. And then just invest a little bit of money, and you can have a decent overland vehicle. Man. Yeah. Look at that. This one right here, even with a new paint job and everything else, has mm -hmm. costed us less than ten thousand dollars. <laughs> and I mean, we've nice. put. 45,000 miles on this and 10,000 on trails. Nice. And it's been a great, reliable vehicle. And then I drive it to work every other day, you know? And you probably get decent gas mileage. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's got plenty of room for camping, you know? Yeah, let's take you can a look fit a bed inside. Can we open it up and take a look? Oh, see yeah, what you guys of course. Do? So look at that. It's simple. It's just yep. super simple. You take the seats out, throw an air mattress in there. Yep. Now you have protection from the wind, the rain, the snow. Yep, and it's got a heater, and power inverter. You got air, AC, heat, yeah, man. Yeah. This is awesome. And, and there's a, a DVD player up there. <laughs> That's right, he's got the DVD player too, man. That yeah. is so cool, man. It's the, you know, for me, yeah, these, these million dollar rigs you see out here, they're awesome. Yeah. But I'm actually more impressed with the stuff that's obtainable to us regular yeah. folks. Yeah, exactly. And that was yeah. the idea when we built it, is we wanted yeah. everyone to be able to experience this kind of stuff. Yeah. Go out and experience the trails and, you know, the lifestyle. This has been great for me, and I have two kids, and I can't afford to go spend eighty thousand dollars on a van. Let's be honest, so true. not a lot of people. I got can. three kids too, man. I know, yeah. I know your pain. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, we got toddlers, and this is perfect for them. That they is, love it, and then we cool. can go, and, you know, take it to work the next day, or yeah. take it to the grocery store. I would drive it every day too. You'd be yeah. the coolest minivan in town. Man. It, it gets it gets a lot of looks. Minivan <laughs> in our town. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Prescott, Arizona. Oh, not too far away then. Yeah, for yep, you guys. Yep. Right on. That doesn't even look like three inches. It looks like more. Is it because you guys are tilted well, or what? It does have a little bit of a beefier tire on it, so you're getting about an inch out oh, of the Oh, I see. Itself. So the body's yep. up a little higher than yep, normal, exactly. too. exactly. What size tire is that for you guys are wondering exactly what this you're is going an 18 on here? This is an 18-inch rim uh -huh. with a 225 tire. That's an aggressive tread, too. Yeah. What is yeah. that? Uh, 255, 55 R18 tires okay. on it. So if you guys want to build this exact rig, that's the numbers you need to look for right there. Yep. 245, uh, 60, 17. There you go. Oh, okay, with the yeah, 17. Yeah. yeah. The 17. How about the shocks and springs or whatever you got? Is nope. that nothing? Nothing's nope. changed there. Nothing. Huh? We don't alter any of the stuff. Okay. Everything is included in the kit, and you can find that at journeysoffroad.com. Is there an example of the kit yep. here somewhere? Let's this see. Is it right here. Oh, this is it. Yep. So everything's right here. So point out the, the parts here for yep. everybody. So this is the, these are your linkage, your extended brake lines, shock and. Uh, bump stop relocations and extensions, uh, differential drop, you got your spring space or your coil spring spacers, strut extensions, and uh, some other brackets just to keep all the geometry the okay. same. And that way you're not altering your factory ride. Yeah. And I mean for 710 you can't beat it. 720 or 750 for the all-wheel drive version. 750 and you could have the baddest minivan in town. That is so yep. cool. Yep. I mean <laughs> Love like I said, it. you can get into this in under ten thousand dollars with you know a yeah. used hundred thousand mile van. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's a great option for people who don't have that kind of money to spend. Cool. Well, let me ask you this. So what about the guys that have the next model up of this, so this, this works okay. for 2004 to 2019. Oh, okay. Front wheel drive and all wheel drive. Oh, models. nice. And once they release the 2020, we'll be on that one too. I, okay. I'm not sure if they're going to change anything just yet. Okay. But uh, they use a lot of the same parts as the RAV4, so parts yeah. for these things are readily available and <laughs> easy to find. That is so cool, man. Yeah. And uh, since I got you, let's walk through some of these other car vehicles. What do you got going on over here? This one right here. here. Go, go over there and just show it, uh, yeah, uh, show yeah. it up close. So we're just an old drive. Yeah, so what we do is... So this is an older Chevy Astro, right? Yep. This is a 98 Astro Safari. It's got a pretty good Astro. lift on it, man. This one's got a five and a half inch lift. Five and a half, that's quite a bit for this thing, man. Yep. Um, 
This is actually one of our customers' vehicles. She uses it for uh, photography. She goes up in the mountains, takes her motorbikes with her, mm -hmm. and I mean, she's never had a problem with it. Uh, this costs her less than five grand to build. The van, <laughs> the lift kit, the tires, everything included. Nice, nice. I mean, it was a great option for her. She didn't have a lot of money to spend, and we've helped yeah. her out a lot with this vehicle. Um, you know, just to get her to let go of it, we had to fix her other vehicle <laughs> to get it to the show. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. That's then, so cool. Look at that. So this is a good example of that like, you don't need a rock crawler to go yeah, off road yeah. camping. Yeah, you definitely. need something to just get through the the snow and the the mud and the rain and you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, man. we've taken this thing down a lot of Jeep trails. We've got one exactly like it with the same lift on it. Um, and I mean, the thing's unbeatable. We've taken it up to Crown King, a lot of uh, a lot of experienced trails, and you get some weird looks when you pull in too. Yeah. You know, some of those off-road centers, they're like, what the heck? Because are it's all-wheel drive, right? Not yeah, four-wheel drive. This one's right? all-wheel drive. We do have a conversion kit to yeah. get the high-low, you uh -huh. know, two-wheel drive range out of it. But yeah. you know, if you want to go as basic as possible, this is, I mean. This is as plain as it gets, you know. Yeah. What is it, a V6 in there? Uh, this has a 4.3 liter engine. It's a V6. V6, um, yeah. A great, tough engine. Uh, honestly, our customers love these yeah, things. Yeah, those, those old 90s vehicles, you could work on them yourself. They're not Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The parts are readily available for a lot of these vehicles. Um, you know, anybody with any mechanical inclination can yeah. definitely tackle a lot of this stuff and do the installs themselves. It's not mm -hmm. hard to do. And, and all of it can be done in under a day. There's no cutting or welding yeah. on any of this stuff. I like that, man. I like it. And then what do we got over here? This is a little newer version, huh? This one, uh, or is I it? I think you might want him to explain it. Okay. I think you might want this guy to explain it. <laughs> What's up, man? Hello. Introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you got. Tom man. Collins from Journeys Off Road. Awesome. This is our solid axle conversion. Awesome name, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Tom Collins, right on. So Go basically, um, what we did to this, we started with the all wheel drive. Uh -huh. All right. We got rid of some of the um, independent front suspension, independent front suspension components. Uh -huh. Went with a solid axle Jeep long arm kit. Made our own cross member, and then um, so we have a Dana 44 in the front, and then oh, nice. match the gear ratio in the rear. Nice. And then use the rest of our lift kit for the rear to make you know up there. What were the gear ratios again? I didn't uh, 410. 410. Nice. Nice. Yep. Cool. We got a Detroit 2 track in the rear and then electronic locking Dana 44 in the front. Oh, E lockers. Nice, nice. Yep. Cool. That is a good look, too. Look at that. That thing has got a nice stance. It's way up there. Yep. That is nice, man. Very smooth, subtle ride. Uh huh. Aggressive when you need it. How much would it cost to build out something like this if you guys well, If you want start to do with this. your own van, um, and you go with good quality parts. Mm -hmm. Expect to spend between five and six thousand dollars. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yep. Yeah, that is cool. Like I, I was telling uh, Brian over there, it's like uh, you see all these million dollar rigs. Yep. But this is something that I can afford right here. Well, that was the idea. Yeah. You know, we all kind of looked at the big ones and we're thinking, oh, we want to do that. Oh, that's a lot of money. I don't know. <laughs> Kick rocks. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> This was the cure. Yeah, that's cool. Can we look inside? Absolutely. Yeah, let's take a look. So, most of us in the shop are mechanics. This was actually our, one of our first attempts at any kind of carpentry work. Did pretty good, man. Yep, some vinyl snap-in flooring. Um, which, simple bathroom liner. Walls. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. It, it doesn't, you know, it, it can handle a lot of temperature changes, obviously. Uh -huh. Bathroom works. Did you guys um, insulate the walls at all? Absolutely. Oh, cool. Right on. Absolutely. Um, just, you know, cheap thrown together cabinetry. Everything mm -hmm. works, functions. You got a sink, refrigerator, little stove. That almost looks like a uh, residential sink. <laughs> it does. Um, yeah, which is good. I like residential sinks. Yep, yeah, works out of the conventional water jugs, which uh -huh. we don't have in there right now. Yeah. Keep it simple, right? Yep. Just pump it out of a water jug. Absolutely. Cool. You got some storage there for organization, your clothes, and yep. some food, some dishes, whatever. A fridge just to keep your beer cool. You got it. And then look at that. That's what I'm talking about. It's a cushion you could just fold out yep. and you're you're ready to sleep, man. Very simple. Yeah, that's nice. I slept the last two nights in there and honestly, uh -huh. you know, I've got some back problems myself and I slept real comfortable on it. That's nice. I wish I had this van last night, man. Yeah. Because uh, I was kind of uncomfortable in my van. <laughs> it stayed pretty warm. Not what rack you got up here? That's a big rack. That's uh, in-house. Oh, you guys built that? Yep. All right, let's see. Are you guys going to sell that or just one off? That's, no, that's, that's going to be production. Oh, okay. And awesome. uh, Very cool. Let me get a shot of you guys' suspension up here. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, there we go. And you said this is a long travel, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All this for around five grand. 
Yep. It's sitting about 30% into its expansion. Mm -hmm. So that way, you know, it's got plenty of uh, up and down. Nice. Lots of articulation. Very comfortable to drive. It drives like a four-door Jeep, but better. <laughs> yeah, and you got more cargo too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I love Jeeps, but man, they're just so limited on space. Uh, again, uh, oh, nice. Uh, what is this? This is HSS Syntex mm -hmm. light armor steel. Oh, that, that's full. That's steel. Okay, yeah, right on. That bumper weighs about the same as the other one over here. About mm -hmm. 60 pounds. Really oh, this one here? Yeah. They're just checking this out. Oh, there's an LED bar in this one. Yep. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's I go down to AC all the time. Pretty light. For steel, that's light, huh? Yeah. It's, like I said, it's light armor. Uh -huh. Put these two together, we lift the van up by the D-rings. Oh, wow. With it. That's cool. You can yank it out of the snowbank or something. Yep. Yeah. Nice. What are we looking at here? Oh, these parts here. This is for the four-wheel drive conversion. Oh, nice. All right. So most of the Astro, obviously, most of the Astros, you get two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Well, all-wheel drive is fine. A little bit of snow. Going down the trail a little bit, you know. It'll work just fine. But you start heading up into the Jeep trails, mm -hmm. you find its limitation. They slip, they bind, they burn. Mm -hmm. This right here is out of S10. It's an MP233. Right, it's got high and low four-wheel drive lock. We take out the all-wheel drive T-case, made it with our in-house conversion uh, man manual conversion kit. Bolt in about an hour and a half later. You have true locking four-wheel drive. Wow! How much is that? Um, for the conversion kit right here, what you see, this is about 275. Now the T-case, you can do one of two ways. We do supply them, uh, $600 plus core, completely remanufactured. All right, top of the line seals, or you go to the junkyard. Someone probably pulled the trans out and left the T case on the floor because yeah. they never break. So yeah, nice stuff. Nice, yeah. nice. I'd rather just yeah, buy one from you guys and have everything I need all at once. Yep. Uh, that's cool, man. Yep. Hour and a half later, true <laughs> locking, low lock and high. Nice, yeah. nice. Very cool, man. Like I said, the big stuff is cool, but I'm really excited to come across you guys' booth, man. Seriously, yep. totally honest there. All right, so let's end this with a website so guys can contact you guys. You can always find us at journeysoffroad.com. Mm -hmm. Everything is listed on the website. Nice. And the solid axle kit that you guys just saw will be available about in about two to three weeks. There you go, guys. Did I not provide you with some cool stuff, man? Like I said, uh, you never know what you're going to see at Overland Expo. If you want to convert an older vehicle into a cool Overland vehicle for a little bit of money, these are the guys to check out right here, man. Journeys off-road, man. Check them out. Leave a like to support my channel. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these conversion kits for these older trucks and vans. Pretty cool. Journeys off-road. Check them out.